Hey guys, it's Wednesday and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video guys, I'll be doing a different type of video. I will be doing a more of like a life update sort of video along with a mini Q&A in the end. I just wanted to make this video guys just so you guys can kind of like maybe catch up on what my life has been like recently. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay guys, so to begin with like the life update, I make this sound so dramatic, but it's not even that dramatic. It's not even that dramatic. But yeah, as you guys may or may not know, this YouTube channel is mainly focused on language learning, language learning, my language learning journey, language learning videos, language learning study, vlogs, things sort of that type. However, guys, also, as many of you may know, I have already started school. This is like my first year again going back to school completely in person. Um, it's honestly really heck. It's been it's been a bit challenging getting used to waking up really early, going to school for like seven hours, then after school having swim team, but then after swim team having like to do a lot of homework so it's kind of been a bit challenging to get used to however i feel like i'm getting back into the groove of it but guys if you guys are saying that i'm not posting like the best videos it's most likely because i'm being i'm getting used to like my normal schedule again because guys we all know last year was last year we had a ton of free time I rarely got homework from school and that's why I had more time to do YouTube videos. However, I'm not saying this that I'm going to stop making YouTube videos. Of course not. I literally love making YouTube videos so, so much. However, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on how like my language learning journey has been looking like. And to be honest, guys, I have not been on top of my game with learning um, mostly Korean and Italian because Guys, I am learning French in school. I am taking French 3 in school, and so I am taking my French class in school. So I'm kind of considering that part of like my language learning being part of French in my school. However, I've just not been keeping up with learning Korean and learning Italian. I know I made a YouTube video like two weeks ago planning out my week. I really didn't get to finish that because it's just, you know, it's school. It's, it's get, it was challenging to, at first to get used to. But also guys, I am taking basically, I'm taking three AP classes, but I'm only counting two of them. Um, I'm taking AP Biology and AP US History. And guys, those classes, those classes guys, oh my goodness. I love those classes. Love those classes with all my heart. Um, those classes take up a lot of my time. It's reading textbooks, studying for tests and just it's a lot of studying and so all I'm trying to get to is, is that I have not been able to really properly sit down and study languages how I used to however like I said I'm going to get back into my routine of learning languages and I actually promise this time that I will be getting back into it maybe not every single day but I will have a study schedule that every single that like maybe Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I will just dedicate the mornings to just studying languages. And it's not just to make YouTube videos, it's because I genuinely want to learn languages. And so this is why I'm kind of motivating myself to get back into the routine. So yeah, that's kind of like my little life update, guys. Um, but yeah, I will be getting back into making more study vlogs, making language content, I guess. So be on the lookout for that but now let's get into the mini Q&A and most like literally 90% of these questions are about language learning and like 10% of them are just like really random ones so but yeah let's get started into the questions so the first question is how long do I study languages daily so like I said guys I haven't really been studying languages languages um consistently however I usually go around from like if we're talking about like one specific language i usually do an hour per language second question is how many times a week do i study french well this actually applies to my life right now because i currently am studying french every single day 
Mondays through Fridays because I am in French 3. Yay! So yeah, I am studying French every single day. I do conjugations in class. Um, we talk a little bit in class. You know, everyone's still getting to know each other, so we don't really talk that much in French. But we still talk, we read a lot, we learn vocabulary. So yeah, I'm pretty much learning French every single day. Third question is, how old am I? I am 16 years old, um, but in less than a month, I'm going to be 17. Question number four, how many languages do I speak? If you mean like really, really, really good, English and Spanish. If we're talking about like advanced, intermediate kind of, um, I would do say three because I can speak French, I can have a conversation with people. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess you could say I speak three languages. Question number five, how are you? I am doing pretty good. Um, life is amazing, you know, just loving school, all my activities. So yeah, how are you? Question number six, where am I from? I am from the United States. Question number seven is, how do you learn vocabulary? With a book or just always with an app? Okay, so learning vocabulary, guys, I honestly feel like I can make a completely separate video focused just on how to learn vocabulary. However, when we talk about vocabulary, for me personally, when it came to French, I learned vocabulary by flashcards, like physical flashcards, I learned vocabulary. Um, but when it came to like Korean and like kind of Italian, I mostly use like lists. Um, I'm still learning vocabulary in Italian and Korean, but yeah, I'm mostly using lists. I'm not really using flashcards anymore. And I think it's good to kind of like do a little combination of everything just to get a little variety, you know? Question number eight, can you show us your notes? Yes, I think I actually last week I posted a video showing you guys like giving you guys like a mini tour of my language notes. However, if you guys do want me to go more in depth into specific like language notes like for French or for Korean or for Italian, comment down below. Question number nine is, I just started learning French. Do you have any tips for learning French specifically? And guys, it's like you guys are reading my mind. I literally was just planning a video about how I actually started to learn French from like zero French to like being kind of like intermediate level. I am planning on making a video for this, so look out for it. But if you want an answer right now, how can you actually start learning French? Start learning the most commonly used words in French. That is how I started learning French. And I feel like that's how you can start learning a lot of languages. So just learn the most common vocabulary words. Then comes grammar, then comes all the conjugations. But I feel like having a good solid knowledge of vocabulary is very important. Question number 10, could you do more study vlogs in Korean or about Korean? Yes, I will totally do that for you guys. I love doing study vlogs and just like really chill, showing you guys how I study. And yeah, I'll totally do more video Korean study vlogs for you guys. Question number 11, by the way, how did you learn French and how long did it take? Again, this kind of goes along with like the other question that I just said. Um, I'll do a video on how exactly I learned French. I think it took me around, obviously I'm not fluent yet, but it took me around six to seven months to actually be able to be kind of conversational in French and have a kind of like base for me to like know the language. But yeah, um, I'll do a completely separate video for just how I learned French. Question number 12, what is your level in French? Again, guys, like I said, I believe that I'm kind of like in an intermediate level. I can have a conversation with someone in French, um, but I feel like it would take, it's just the listening. Like when people talk really, really fast, it's like, whoa, 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 slow down. Um, but yeah, I would say I'm kind of like in an intermediate level for French. Question number 13, how many AP classes are you in? Um, currently, this year, I'm a junior in high school. For those of you who did not know, I'm 16 years old and I am taking three AP classes. I am taking AP Spanish, Literature and Culture, AP Biology, and AP US History. Love that. Question number 14, 
What editing software do you use? And what do you use to make your thumbnails? So those are kind of like two questions in one. Okay, so the editing software that I, that I use. I started off making my YouTube videos using iMovie, as you guys may know. Um, because I actually do all of my videos and editing on my phone just because I don't have a camera yet. But I first used iMovie, but then, guys, guys, I found the one of the best, I guess, editing softwares, and it is called Villo. If you guys want me to do a separate video on how I edit my YouTube videos using Villo, let me know down below. I am obsessed with this app. First of all, it is free. There are so many cute things that you can do to your editing. I just love Villo so, so much. And then what do you use to make your thumbnails? I use a couple of apps, depending on how I kind of want my thumbnail to look. But the first one that I use is called Pic Collage to kind of like frame my picture into like the YouTube thumbnail size. Then I use Blur if I want to like blur out um, like the background or something. And finally, I use Fonto to be able to put on all of my text for my thumbnail. So yeah, that's what I use. And last question, question 716, it is, what other languages do you want to learn? Guys, there are so many other languages that I want to learn. And I actually, in this notebook, I have an, an entire list of all of the languages that I want to learn at the moment. Obviously, I'm not going to learn them right now because that's impossible to learn all of the languages. But the, this is my list. I want to learn German, Hebrew, Japanese, Chinese, Greek, Polish, question mark? I don't know, guys. Portuguese, Dutch, Turkish. Korean, Italian, those are the ones I'm learning right now, and Russian. So those are the main languages that I'm currently like wanting to learn in the future. Obviously, I'm currently learning Korean and Italian and French, and yeah. But yeah, guys, those were all of the questions that I was able to find and see from the comments. But thank you guys again so much for commenting those questions. And if you guys want me to do like a part two to this video, I would be so, so happy. But yeah, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and be on the lookout for more language learning videos, studying videos. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and bye guys.